Good afternoon, everyone. I've mentioned a time or two I've taken quite a few cuttings from my moringa, and I had cut some before lunch, and I had a good handful that I added into some coleslaw, and I cut a cucumber up in my coleslaw, and that was my lunch. Turned out pretty good, which I like all those items. And uh, Anyway, I came back to finish cutting it. I'm trying to cut the tips out of each branch. And there's a few I didn't, didn't get into, some smaller ones. But since, like I said, I ate about a half a dozen shoots in my salad. And since I came back out, that's what I have gotten. And uh, let's see where I am. I'm right here. I still got to get the one branch back up. There's a few of these that do have some little flower uh, blooms, whatever, on them. But I'm trying to keep them low and... Keep them to where the wind's not going to turn them over and everything. And it's right in there that I'll go back to cutting whenever I finish filming this little video. I'm not going to try to do it one-handed and all that. But uh, what I've been doing is like I'll come right in here and take that top out. And about right there on this one and so on and so forth and the the stems can be stir fried in a little bit of butter or olive oil and the texture is about like the uh, asparagus and add an egg or two and it's a nice little breakfast meal i've done that i haven't done it this year but that might be what some of these go to in the morning I may have some with my eggs have some ladybugs up in here and I'm happy to see them and I always love to see things like that that lets me know that I'm kind of doing right and I'm not poisoning the world and <laughs> everything's happy with me I always talk about the fact of having worms all in the yard is shows I have a healthy yard and I hope that I'm doing things right and Mother is blessing me. But I'm real pleased with my moringa. Everyone have a blessed day.